Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy Vegan, vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> All right, we got a really easy recipe for you, two parts. Mm -hmm. It's so good. The first part, we're making corn muffins with whole grain flour and cornmeal and corn, corn kernels. Kernel corn. Yum, yum, yum. And where do we get that recipe from? Forks Over Knives, the first book I started cooking from. And if you have not seen the documentary Forks Over Knives, please watch it. It's so wonderful for all the information it presents. And I'm going to tell you, it's what turned me, a 40-year vegetarian, into a vegan. I never life. understood why I needed to be a vegan, either from the animal point of view or my health point of view all those years. And Forks Over Knives is what turned me into a vegan for health reasons. And after that, I started learning about the awful lives of the dairy cows and all that. And so it was really easy to lots give all and that lots up. Lots of good recipes, Anyways, lots yeah. of good recipes. And then the other part we're showing you is the Happy Vegan Couple Mushroom Gravy. Ooh, yes. And what's so wonderful, this gravy has no oil. No oil. No butter. <laughs> and All why, healthy. And why don't we want, well, we know we don't want the butter because it's from an animal. And we don't want the oil. Why? Because of those two reasons. It's just pure fat. It's not a whole food. That fat is not necessary for your body. You can get those fats from your chia seeds, your flax seeds, way healthier for you whole foods. And oil, every kind of oil, olive oil, coconut oil, any of them, they all destroy your endothelial cells, which is the barrier to your uh, arteries. And that's when that breaks down. That's when that plaque cholesterol gets in there and you start getting atherosclerosis. Get rid of the oil. Yeah, get rid of the oil. Just get rid of it. Yeah, and you don't need it. That's the great mm -hmm. thing. This tastes so good. So we're so excited about that. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to share one other thing to you. We're actually partly making this gravy because we had our Happy Vegan Couple house party a few weeks ago, our October party, and one of our guests was asking us for a gravy that was really heart healthy and good for us in all capacities, and that's why we made it. And the other thing I wanted to share with you was that one of our other guests who came to our party she had an amazing journey that she went through and actually wrote a book about it. Her name is Pam, and she suffered from both rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and unfortunately hepatitis, uh, what is it? C? Three C? What, I forget what I it is. I think it was C. Hepatitis, hepatitis C, C, I believe, which is a really hard infection to get rid of. And what she discovered was through adopting a whole food plant-based diet, and she used a particular therapy called the Gerson therapy, and she was able to turn around her rheumatoid arthritis and her lupus from the whole food plant-based diet. Now, it did not help her hepatitis C. For that, she used a drug. But Pam wrote this really interesting book about her journey, which I read because she brought us a copy for our house party, and it was really amazing. She really suffered a lot, and I give her so much credit for going and doing something that probably most of the people she knew would say, oh, that's not going to work. You can't cure those things. In fact, she told us her doctor said she could not get cured from her lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, that it was incurable. Guess what? Well, guess what? She wrote a book, and it's called Curing Incurability. And this book tells about her journey using the Gerson therapy to turn around her lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. And, and one of the reasons she really wanted to do it, because Pam said her mother had rheumatoid arthritis, and actually died from the side effects of the drug, you know, those toxic drugs that people take for that awful disease. And she didn't want to have that happen to her. So that's why she was out there looking for what else could work, and she found it. And, and she so, is disease-free today. Yeah, and she's <clears throat> vibrant and vital. And so anyways, we share this book in case any of you might be suffering from lupus or other autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid and you want to hear somebody's personal story because the doctors are not telling you, again, they don't have the nutrition education yet in this country mm -hmm. 
in most countries actually to understand all that. So anyways, we thank Pam for sharing this with us and we just wanted to share it with you. Okay, well let's get to cooking these two little things that I got going for you. All right, How's corn that? muffins and happy Mushroom. vegan couple mushroom gravy, gravy coming up. You all ready? Right. We're ready. All right, okay. let's go. <laughs> okay everyone, let's make my corn muffins here. I'm gonna show you the ingredients first. Some of them I've already mixed together. I have a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, which I've already mixed together. I have my cornmeal, which is one cup, one cup of frozen corn we're using instead of fresh. I have maple syrup and organic uh, applesauce. I'm going to be mixing flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and almond milk. That's going to be to thicken it up. And then I'm going to make my own oat flour out of our oat meal that we make in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my flaxseed with just a tablespoon and a half with one cup of almond milk. Oops. We're going to mix that up just a little bit. This is going to be a thickener. This is going to be an egg replacement. Isn't that wonderful? A vegan egg substitution there are many ways you okay. can do it that's what it kind of it's just gonna sit for five minutes while we finish everything else over here my next thing is I'm gonna make my oat flour and I what I've got is one cup of oat flour and oat meal in here we're just gonna blend it up in the Vitamix it's gonna take a few minutes so let's go ahead and do this Show you what it looks like a little bit there just like like thicker flour georgie take a spatula kind of to show a little bit like what its texture is okay all right okay very fine all right what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna mix our our applesauce and our half a cup of maple syrup so we're using the maple syrup for our sweetener right. with the applesauce that's the two sweeteners right we're going to just mix that up together get them incorporated together just like that okay all right we're going to add our cornmeal a little at a time a little at a time. Just so it doesn't clump into one big piece. And I'm going to add my baking soda, baking powder, and my salt. And it's coming together, isn't it? Yep. And then my corn. If we had fresh organic corn, we would have used that, but we don't have any of that at the moment, so we got our organic frozen corn. Okay, now I'm going to add my mixture of flaxseed and almond milk. Let's see how that looks now after sitting for a few minutes. Is it any different? No, it's really not, it really hasn't thickened that much. So we don't need to wait for no, it? No, okay. it'll be fine. We're just going to pour that in. And let's remember that flaxseed has some great protein and essential fats, the omega-3s, so it's nice to be able to add that into our food. Okay, what I'm going to do is this has got to sit for like another four minutes by itself, so we're going to let it sit and then we're going to pour it into our muffin pans. Oh, almost forgot the oat flour. <laughs> 
silicone uh, muffin pan that we actually found at one uh -huh. of our favorite thrift stores. It's great because you don't need any oil on the uh, muffin cups or you don't even have to use paper ones and it's going to pop out really nicely after it's baked. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for another two more minutes now that I got this in here. There's my consistency. Uh, it's falling through. A couple more minutes and we're going to fill these up. We'll come be right back. All right. Okay? Sounds good. Okay, everyone, my mixture has been sitting about three minutes. You can see that it's thickened up. It's got a gel to it and it's got some air pockets to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. I'm going to transfer it all over here to my cups. These are one third cup little pans, so we'll just take a little spatula and about three quarters of the way with each one. By the way, I've had my oven at 375. It's the beeper just went off a few minutes ago. We're going to cook it at 375 for about 15 minutes. About three quarters of the way. Wait, and how long does it take to cook? About 15 minutes. Okay. You got to keep an eye on it. it cornmeal is just 15, 12 to 15, depends on the cornmeal, how much you got in there. Okay, I right. said that I can make 12 out of this, but I don't think I'm going to get but 11 and a little one. Oop, maybe. All right, and this is a great whole grain recipe. You've got the, mm -hmm. the uh, cornmeal and you've got the oat flour. All okay, right. Okay, well, let's pop these in the oven and we'll see what they look like when they're done. Okay, see you after that. Okay. Okay, everyone, here's my mushroom gravy. I got two cups of vegetable broth two tablespoons of vegetable broth for sauteing my mushrooms. I have a dash of salt. I have three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I have four cloves of garlic diced, minced, I'm sorry. Six tablespoons of whole wheat flour for thickening. I have a quarter cup of tamari, one and a half teaspoons of white vinegar, and two tables or two cups of mushrooms. I'm gonna show you how to cut each one of these real quick. With my garlic, I just take the skin off, use my uh, carrot gr uh, grater, and I just go up and down on the small one. Go inside. There you go, grated garlic. Onions. Cut it in half, cut the ends of it off. I'm doing small slices, because I want as fine as I can as far as the Texture goes. This one here, turn this way. I'm just going to cut it down. And just to remind everybody, red onions actually are more nutritious than white onions. So if you think you can enjoy them in your recipes, they're good to throw in. Okay, my mushrooms, just cut them in half. And then slice them. And what kind of mushrooms are these? These are baby bellas. Okay, that's what I do with the slicing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my two cups of vegetable broth with my six tablespoons of whole wheat flour. That's going to be my thickening agent. And we are using a low sodium vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. Mix it up good and so you don't have any lumps in it. If you, if you don't mix it up real well, you're going to have lumps in your gravy. Okay, let's stop where we're at here and we'll go over to the stove and show you how to finish it. All right, Jerry. Okay, everyone, let's get this gravy going here. I got my pan on high. I'm going to put my two tablespoons of vegetable broth there in here to saute my onions. Go ahead and throw those in there. It's going to take a couple minutes to saute and we're just going to get them to look translucent. Let's see what it looks like. That's what they look like with, with, uh, as they're going. Okay. So if you want to pause for a second, we'll come back as soon as they're translucent and we'll show you. Okay, good. Okay, everyone, they've been cooking a couple minutes. You can see almost the broth is almost gone, a little bit translucent. 
gonna add my garlic, dash of salt, my tamari, now my onions. Onions? I mean mushrooms, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I got those onions on my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it up, mix it all real good with Let's those see. mushrooms. All right. Uh -huh. Get that coating everywhere. I'm gonna add my mixture of flour, veggie broth, stir it up. Add my three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And are you still on high? On I'm the... still on high right now. What I'm going to do is once it starts boiling, I will turn it down to maybe a little bit lower than a medium to simmer it. It's got to simmer for four or five minutes to cook these mushrooms. Here's what it looks like. Nice, Let rich, me see it better. nice rich gravy uh -huh. look. Okay, let's go back. We're gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep stirring it for about four or five minutes, like th this. Every once in a while, I'll sit there for bubbles and I'll stir, it. and then I'll come back and show you what it's gonna look like when it's done. Okay. okay, four or five minutes. Okay, everyone, it's been cooking about a minute and a half. You can see how it's thickening up. I'm gonna add my teaspoon and a half of white vinegar. I actually forgot earlier. So we're gonna stir that in. And Let's we'll see what it looks like one more time, Georgie. Nice, thick, rich broth. Look at that. Right. If it's too thick, add a little vegetable broth. Let's come back in a couple minutes and we'll show you what it looks like, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, everyone, here's my mushroom gravy. Give you a little bit of a close up here, Denise, to show you the kind of thickness that we wanted. And it's amazing how quickly you made that. Like just a four minutes. Yeah, so fast. No oil. No there you butter. Go. Look at that. Yeah. It Ooh. looks like gravy, gravy. It does. You can, you can serve it. I made a, a mushroom head a little while ago. I roasted it inside tin foil. Cauliflower, you mean? I mean cauliflower. Yeah. What is? <laughs> anyway, you pour that over the top of it. Nice main dish. Fingerling potatoes. Delicata squash, you can serve it over that. There's just, just a lot of different things you can use it for. You can even use it like broiled tofu and you throw it on there. There you go. Good meal. Mashed potatoes, shepherd pie, unlimited. So I hope you enjoy it and you enjoy eating what I made for you tonight. Okay? Okay, everyone, I made my mushroom gravy for you here. I also made up some corn muffins which is one of the alternatives you can put it on. I'm gonna show you how easy it is with a silicone pan to pop them out. Look at that. No stick, nothing. Wow. No oil, anything. Serve it up on the plate here. I'm gonna put a little bit of my gravy on top. Uh-oh. Don't wanna waste that good stuff. Oh, that's a lot of gravy, Georgie. Look at that. Taste wow. test. Look at that beautiful plate. Uh -huh. Easy, simple. Here we go. Anyone's gonna love it. Serve it on potatoes, squash, however you wanna serve it, it's great. Mashed potatoes. Hope you like it. <laughs> okay, everyone, I hope you like the Happy Vegan Couple mushroom gravy and my corn muffins that we made out of forks overnight. I know pork. they will if they make it because they're so good. I can't wait they're to go great. eat. They're great. Yes, <laughs> they are great. And we just want to remind you, if any of you live near Tucson, please check out our Happy Vegan Couple house parties. We've done a couple of them. They're a great success with the people we've had over. They seem to love it. And we're so excited to help people learn how to be successful, whole food, plant-based eaters Learning and get and all eating. the benefits of this kind of lifestyle. We're, so, we kind of apologize a little bit for not doing a recipe. It's been a while. Between work and the new vacation that we went on, it's over with now, but we went to Utah, saw Bryce Canyon, Zion, it was beautiful. Zion National Park. Yes. Huge mountains. Unbelievable. Yeah, if you haven't been there, it's worth going. 
So everyone, until next time, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. Go plant-based! And as always, recipe will be followed up on the video and then posted separately. Okay. Okay? Take care, everyone. <laughs> Eat healthy. Enjoy life. Bye-bye.